we won't turn the car down for you, but we do have a driver mic. I just dubbed this an eight second jungle gym. Welcome back, Unicorn vs. World Season 2. 100% less Ken Block, 100% more other Block. That's right, Leah Block, Ken's 14-year-old daughter, driving 1,400 horsepower worth of Unicorn. You know we brought the heat this season. We've had 4,000 horsepower pro stock drag cars. Twin turbo Ferrari. And Tesla Plaid. Hope you've been enjoying the season so far. Let's go check out our next competitor. Super special thanks out to our friends at CSR2, the official video game partner of Hoonicorn vs. The World, season two. Without them, the show probably wouldn't be happening. You can download the Hoonicorn V2 right now, play it in the palm of your hands, and you can even recreate some of your own Hoonicorn vs. The World matchups because they have over 300 cars that you can choose from. Even Ken knows how to download it. So we've got a hell of a matchup today. Obviously we brought the Hoonicorn, you know that part, but we got something else here that's a little ridiculous. The tire might be bigger than the vehicle. It yeah. might be. It's probably the biggest tire we've had on here, right? This is one of the stupider swaps. <laughs> and I mean that in like in a, a, in a nice way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex in an off-road form. Let's go check it Let's, out. Yeah. Sir, how are you? My name's Doug. Oh, well, nice I was going to say, introduce yourself. This is Doug and Doug. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is a uh, 2019 Polaris Razor four-seater that we decided to be a good idea to just throw a whole bunch of power into. We gutted the back half of it and uh, dropped in a 3.4 liter stroker, all aluminum, billet, 2JZ. All aluminum? Yes, sir. Power glide, two-speed trans, nine-inch forward rear end, big old turbo on there, and lots of power. What kind of power is this making? A little over 1,100 to the wheels. Okay. What okay. Is it, what does it weigh? Uh, about 2,400 pounds. That's heavier That's, than it looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What inspired you to do this? <laughs> well, originally the uh, theme of the car was just inspired by us sitting in the garage and Jurassic Park came on the TV. We saw the Explorer and went, man, we got to build that. We spared no expense. And then uh, later on, we just were tossing some ideas around saying, hey, how can we build the baddest side by side? This is what we came well, up normally with. Normally side by side rear tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, what size is this rear tire? <laughs> it's a 33 uh, 16 5. We know that, you know, traction is going to be our issue issue in a situation like this. So we put some big dogs on the back. Yeah. Have, have you ran this tire before? We have not. This so will be the first, first time. time. Yeah, they're fresh. Have you drag raced this car a lot? You have, yes. yeah. A lot in the sand, sand but we've yeah. run at the strip a few times mm -hmm. as well. How fast did it go? Uh, quickest we've been is a 814 at 160. <laughs> What kind of speed are you hitting with this, like in a trap speed? Uh, the highest I've been in it so far was 170. 170. <laughs> yeah, like imagine what, that what is a factory. Is on yeah. side. What is a what is a factory side by side do? Like how? Yeah, yeah no windscreen. Yeah. yeah. No windscreen. <laughs> 80 miles an hour. 80 is what you might see. Yeah, so you doubled it. Faster ones, yeah. I snuck some talks with him earlier. You said you didn't modify the suspension a whole bunch. No, I uh, modified the trailing arm or the trailing arms to fit automotive hubs and whatnot for our big axles. But uh, the trailing arms are actually stock. All the front suspension is still stock. Shocks are all still stock. How was the trial and error on this thing? Like, did you stand it up to the sky the first time you launched it? We've stood it up a couple of yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's like just what it looks like it wants to do. Like just. <laughs> With good traction, it will backflip 100%.
I just have two questions. What did you do with it before, and why did you put a thousand horsepower two JZ in it? <laughs> you know, question. before it just used to be kind of an overlanding machine. We would go out and drive it for multiple days and camp in the woods. Why we put that much power in it, I'm not really sure. You know, <laughs> seemed like a good idea at the time. I wanted to do hood rat stuff for my friend. I see you got some buttons on there. What do they do? A few things here. So button on the left side is for our two steps, so and we bring it up on the trans brake to launch it, and then we've got a bump button over here. So in competition, it takes a little bit to get this car staged enough on the turbo so we can do that and then bump it into the beams and then this is a shift button here that just actuates an electric solenoid that bumps the shifter into second for us. Wow. Nice. Great. But you still kept this. Do you take passengers? Occasionally. I'm not willing at all. I was just asking. I wanna, do you huck this thing still? You know, you not on purpose. Okay. <laughs> we got a thousand plus horsepower, 2400 pound off-road vehicle with a huge rear end and huge slicks. You know what the Hoonicorn can do, but let's go look at it real quick. Give him a chance to see it. We started an eBay store, woo! We got a bunch of stuff for sale. Own pieces of Hoonigan history, stuff you can't get anywhere else, like the Hoonig truck fender from Climb Kona 2. NRGC, out of our G35, rest in peace. This went to Saudi Arabia. It was on fire. Mike Diaz probably farted in it. Probably not even safe to put in a car anymore, but you should definitely buy it. We also got this toolbox, but is it just a toolbox? No, this is a toolbox that we gave to our very own employees, including myself, on Christmas. 2020. It comes with all kinds of stuff. All this and more is on our eBay store. Hit the link in the description, ebay.com slash str slash Hoonigan. Every dollar you spend on here is gonna go straight into our pockets to help make this place better. We even stole this from Ken Block. It's from his race pit. Put that in your garage, flex on all your friends. Buy some stuff. All right, so the Hoonicorn, we've been over it quite a bit, but just to fill you guys in, it is a twin turbo V8, 432 cubic inches, running on methanol, transferred through a six speed Sedev gearbox. We've upgraded a few things this season, like safety equipment. It's got an upgraded roll cage, it's got fire suppression, and it's even paddle shifted now. For the exterior, we've got a new livery on it. To cap it off, fresh American racing, NASCAR inspired VF 503s. They're aluminum, so they're not steel like the old NASCAR wheel. Oh, you'll also notice it's an 18 by 10 and a half on all four corners. So square setup, lots of grip, lots of action. Do you have any questions on this vehicle? Can you uh, turn it down for me a little bit? Is that something? <laughs> no. Is that a valid question? No, all right. It only goes <laughs> to 11 and higher. So we won't turn the car down for you, but we do have a driver mod. Ken is actually gonna let his 14 year old daughter race you in this thing. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Doug. You ready? So you ready? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm ready. So typically we start off with a heads up, thousand foot hand drop race. And then you guys can work it out from there. Sounds good. I think it's going to be a good race though. I think so too. Yeah. As long as he can hook up with those, those Johns. Yeesh. Yeah. This is scary. You keep bringing this camera to me and you're asking me, am I gonna pick the Huna Corner or am I gonna pick its adversary? It's mop-up season. I just checked, it has no front drive axles, not all-wheel drive, no prep, Huna Corner takes the win. <sighs> I don't know, I don't have the clip notes, but the Huna Corner's fast, I'm gonna go with the Huna Corner. Lee is killing it out here. Reaction times are savage. Huna Corner. So the 2JZ and something that weighs four pounds or the Huna Corner with a driver that weighs four pounds? I'm gonna go with Huna Corner. It's got really thick, meaty boys on the back. I'm gonna go with Becca. A lot of you are wondering what we run in this thing. Fire breathing, tire blistering, massive horsepower. We run VP Racing M5 Methanol. Now VP Racing actually makes a lot of fluids that we run on this car, like their 622 brake fluid, the Stay Frosty coolant. But this stuff right here, this methanol, that's what the secret is to making this thing as fast as it goes. Spicy sauce. I love it. Wow. I love it so much. Wow. I think I
Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Did you see him at all? Tiny bit at the start. Yeah, it was close. You got a car, a car and a half. They want to do just a straight up race again. Same yeah. thing again. Yeah. Okay. Just run yeah, the same race again. It'll probably be closer this time. Uh, this is <laughs> insane. I, I, this Dude, <laughs> I, can't. I can't imagine driving Dude. a UTV that fast. I just dubbed this an eight second jungle gym. Because this is the scariest <laughs> looking thing at speed. It's, it's also probably the most driving we've seen. Yeah. In a straight line. No, we got up on the tire, you know, down track a little bit when we really poured the boost in. But, you know, overall could have been a lot <laughs> worse. They're saying just run it back. Identical race. What are you going to change up to get it? You get the call what you want. I want to race heads up, man. I think we got a little we more heat in the tire. Yeah. We, we get it stuck yeah. a little bit more. I think you get it to grip a, up a little bit more. Yeah, you're we good. Can, yeah. We can make a race. Also, out. Yeah. all right. Favorite statement. Pour the pour the boost in. Pour the boost in. Pour it in. Yeah. 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 I kind of want to ride in it, but I also no, don't. Yeah. Probably don't want. Damn. You ride in it, that turbo might just suck you in. Treat on that one. Unicorn by half a car. That's so close. Uh, that's close. She has the same look on her face. I know. Doesn't matter. She's like, you guys, I already know what happened. You're literally yeah, telling me. Like, I know. I won. Great job. Five yeah. minutes ago. On that reaction. Yeah, you're just was, slightly up. I got it on slow mo for you. She already knew it. Yeah, yeah she, she she knows what she's doing. Let's go check yeah. out how this dude this held thing on to is this. ludicrous. Yo, first one to freaking <laughs> pull on the unicorn out the line, man. <laughs> Trying to do our best out here. This yeah. thing digs, man. Uh, Holy yeah, she's, shit. She's That's, working pretty good. At 500 feet, what does it feel like? Because it looks like it's all over the place. Oh, she's dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, man. Leah, were you just super focused? You didn't even see him? You were just flying? No, yeah. Leah, we go up and we're like, Leah, you were half a car, you did it. And she's like, I was mm. there. Yeah? She's like, I, I was like, there, I know. I was there. God, this Thank thing you. is terrifying. Well done, sir. <laughs> Sketchiest you. vehicle to date. Here, good race. Uh, good race. Good race. <laughs> she said, good race. <laughs> <laughs> this means there's victory donuts, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> thing is sick. Let's go let it cool for about 10 minutes or so if that's cool. I was joking, but... Oh. <laughs>